Facebook is no longer just about status updates and likes. Now it's game on for the social media company, which today started shipping its high-end virtual reality headset, which is expected to be a big player in the fast-growing virtual reality device market. Julia Borston has the story. Facebook's Oculus Rift is on sale for $600, launching with 30 games and hundreds of thousands of 360-degree movies and photos and other immersive experiences in the Oculus App Store. Like this Farlands virtual world Oculus created to showcase the creative possibilities. These new types of content expected to be what drives purchases of the headsets. We're waiting a bit to see what the killer app is on Oculus, whether it's a Facebook app itself or perhaps a game or experience we haven't imagined yet. While there are already less expensive devices, including Google's Cardboard and Samsung's Gear VR, today kicks off a competitive high-end headset market. HTC's $800 Vive headset is due out April 5th. Sony's $400 PlayStation VR was delayed to October and we'll see what Apple launches. It was just last week awarded a patent for a VR headset. Facebook's Rift has a head start, but its market is limited by the fact that most PCs won't work with it or HTC's headset, unless they're fairly new and equipped for hardcore gaming. But this PC gaming market was worth $28 billion last year, according to DFC Intelligence, and DigiCapital projects the total augmented and virtual reality market will reach $150 billion by the year 2020. We shouldn't get ahead of our expectations and thinking this is going to be under every Christmas tree at the holidays. I don't think it's going to be that big that fast. Three to five years, it's massive. And Oculus aims to create a new market that goes far beyond gaming. Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg's intention here is to make those social experiences, combining your social network of friends and family with those experiences, whether it be games or something else. And analysts seem optimistic that Facebook will make its $2 billion acquisition of Oculus two years ago pay off. The question is just how much prices will have to fall before these headsets can really become mainstream. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.